Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Parak and in today's video we're gonna use some Courage Hammer against a level 220 Tigrex. Cause it's been a while since I gave Courage some love and I'm still not great at it. So more practice is always good. And here is our quest. Alright, so this will be interesting. Usually the start is how my Courage runs will go, so we'll see here in a second. I actually got it, I'll take it. Land this hit as well. Get out of there. Always roll first and then do your uh, keeping sway if you can. Ah, I should have charged. You can charge if you quickly uh, roll after your first hit. Bite, bite. We should get a chance to hit him at least. Get some of that health back. There we are. Some good damage. Ah, I should have held it. I didn't know he'd get staggered. That's alright though. You can roll. Doesn't jump back yet. Okay, we'll get to him to do that hit. Get out of there. Okay, okay. This set's also extremely dangerous. Um, it's got a lot of stuff that hurts you on here, which is usually uncomfortable for most people. Get out of there. Okay, okay. Ah, I wish I had my weapon out. We could have gone to water strike it. And it would have got our powder mantle active. Just doing a regular swing to make sure we land it. Because it was probably getting pretty close. Does he jump back? He does. Okay. Roll over to him. Excellent. Land it here. Nice. Good damage. We got out of there in time. Keeping sway? No. I could have gone for a water strike there, but I wasn't comfortable with it. So I just didn't. But that's okay. We do want our uh, perfect timing. We want our um, impact burst back up. That's unfortunate stun time, but that's alright. We get impact burst here. Get to pump some damage into him. Big, big damage. Courage is so nasty when it comes to these knockdowns and just being able to have free time with the monster. It's quite scary. Ah, we just missed the head. That's okay though. What's he doing? Bite. Go for the face. Of course. Nice. I should have gone for an impact burst, but I didn't think we would have got a stun or a stagger there. Just to get extra hits on our uh, powder mantle built up, because powder mantle is quite good for hammer in general. I should have charged and just stayed in to do damage because I had intrepid, but that's okay. Ah, I pressed water strike and it didn't come out fast enough. That's unfortunate. Boulder? He didn't boulder, okay. I was hoping he would do the boulder attack there, so I get to just whack him. Should be about there, which he was. Oh, we staggered. We got lucky. Ah, oh, come on! I'm pressing keeping sway and it's not coming out in time. Okay, at least we get to heal here. I pressed keeping sway again. Come on, game. I really, really need to go get a new controller. Because it's starting to get so frustrating. Oh, he's leaving. Is he? He is. Okay. Because I am definitely pressing the button and nothing is happening. And I know you can act out of the first two attacks. That's one of the things I would have put in a, a new hammer guide is you can act out of your first and second charge level almost instantly. So the startup that I did with like going through the roar at the start, that is literally because we uh, did a level two and we're able to hit him straight away. Roll after him. Shouldn't hit. Okay, clean. There we go. Ready to water strike it. Didn't make it to us. No, he's gonna jump back. No, he didn't. What? The animation started and nothing happened. I feel so ripped off right now. As if this playstyle isn't uh, difficult enough to use in this sense. Because uh, we take so much damage and we get a lot of health drain. Let's impact burst after this. On the face. I probably should have... Okay. Oh. <laughs> so both of my stuns got ruined. That's delightful. But at least we do some decent damage. So it's not too, too bad. Like, not the end of the world, obviously. We've got our Intrepid and our Powder Mantle built up already. So we don't need to impact burst there again for the extra hits to build them up. Just keep whacking away. We should be able to stay on him here for quite a bit because we've got Intrepid. Yep, there it goes. 
Roll. We keep our level because I did it early enough. Nice. What's he going to do out of this? Nothing. We'll try to get to the head then. Ah, oh, dang it. So close. Roll out of there. Keeping sway as well, just to be safe. Let's keeping sway back just to land the hit. Just going to roar. No uh, anomaly pop, which is great. Let's hit this zit a little bit. Impact burst as well. Because we got a stagger. Which is basically just a free time to hit him. Double jump. Yep. Doing nothing out of that. That's fine. Okay. I just kept missing his tail there. That's unfortunate. I probably should have rolled towards him. But that's fine. He missed me. Oh my god. That was so delayed. Unfortunate use of our Intrepid, but at least we used it. Let's build it back up. Get those hits in real quick. It's probably going to buy it. Yep. I probably could have charged there, but I didn't think I had enough time. Like, uh, get our level 2 before we rolled. Raw? No pop. Okay, cool. I could have just stayed in. That's alright, though. We get to keep our charge. I should have rolled after him. That's fine, though. Went to water strike it. I should have just stayed in, but that's okay. Or, uh, should have only done one hit. Keeping sway through the raw, because that does damage to you. Go to the side here, because his, uh, scrape there will actually hit you. You don't want that. I didn't know what level I was at, I'm not gonna lie. Should have definitely done it earlier. But that's alright. What, seven minutes? Not bad. I'm I'm so out of practice with Courage. I don't think I've ever been good at it. I try to play it more, but I just don't like it compared to Strength. It's not as fun, in my opinion. And it's somewhat brain dead, to be honest. Once you get all the openings down. Because you, you saw the damage. It, it does more than Strength's level 3s without having to build it up. You just swing... Press the button, swing, press the button, swing. And as long as you've got the monster not moving, you can kill them really, really quickly. Oh yeah, and I didn't show it off. Here is my build. I didn't show it because it's pretty much just a template build. This can be used for most elements. There's nothing special about it at all. As well as the hammer, of course, it just has one attack, seven element. It's actually missing quite a bit of stuff that I want, but I haven't augmented it because I don't care too much about courage. Well everybody, that has been some Courage Hammer, because it's been a little while against the level 220 Tigrex. Courage is still just disgustingly strong in comparison to Strength. It actually kind of hurts a little bit that Strength has just been left in the dust. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.